Hey pharmacist, today we're diving into a super common question pharmacists get all the time. Can you drink alcohol while on antibiotics? Let's clear the confusion. Is it really dangerous? Or is it just a myth? We're breaking it down with real examples so you know what's safe, what's not, and why. First, let's bust a myth. Not all antibiotics interact with alcohol. Some combos are harmless, but others can cause serious side effects. The way alcohol interacts with medication can affect how well it works or how bad you feel. There are two ways these interactions happen. Pharmacodynamic, think of this like a tag team. Alcohol and the antibiotic both affect the same organ or system. And when they work together, the side effects get worse. For example, both alcohol and some antibiotics can cause stress on your liver. Take them together and your liver might get overwhelmed, increasing the risk of damage. Or if both affect your central nervous system, you could feel extra dizzy, drowsy and confused and even faint. The second is pharmacokinetic. Think of this as a processing problem. There's more behind the scenes. It's about how your body processes the antibiotic. Alcohol can speed up or slow down the way your liver breaks down certain drugs. This can lead to lower antibiotic levels, making the drug less effective, or higher levels, which can increase side effects or toxicity. We'll go through some of these examples next. Now let's move on to some of the most popular interactions between alcohol and antibiotics. Number one, metronidazole. This is the big one and an example of a pharmacodynamic interaction, the TAG team. Metronidazole is used to treat everything from dental infections to certain STIs. Mix it with alcohol and you risk a disulfiram reaction. Nausea, vomiting, flushing, racing heart, and feeling like the room is spinning. Even one drink can trigger this reaction and it can last up to three days after your last dose. So don't risk it. Doxycycline. This is a great example of a pharmacokinetic interaction. Doxycycline doesn't cause a severe reaction like metronidazole or flagyl, but alcohol can still be a problem. Chronic drinking can rev up liver enzymes, causing your body to burn through doxycycline too quickly, meaning it might not work properly. If you're treating something serious like pneumonia or a bad skin infection, you want to make sure your meds are working at full strength. Amoxicillin, azithromycin, cephalexin, and friends. These are some of the most commonly prescribed antibiotics. The good news? No major interaction with alcohol. But alcohol can worsen the side effects of these medications like stomach upset, dizziness, or fatigue. Plus, drinking while sick can weaken your immune system and delay recovery. Older adults and multiple meds. If you're an older individual and taking several medications, even safe antibiotics can become risky when alcohol enters the mix. Alcohol and medications both cause drowsiness like painkillers, antihistamines, or sleep aids, and this can lead to dangerous falls. Older individuals also metabolize alcohol more slowly, meaning that it stays in the system longer and hits harder. Cough syrups and surprises. There's something most people don't realize. Some over-the-counter products contain alcohol. Yep, cough syrups, cold medications, even some liquid laxatives can have up to 10% alcohol. So if you've been told to avoid alcohol, read the label. Here's a quick recap on the antibiotics we discuss and if they're safe with alcohol. Metronidazole, doxycycline, amoxicillin, azithromycin, cephalexin. Here's the bottom line. If you're not sure, play it safe and skip the drink. And remember, alcohol can also mix with meds for pain, depression, diabetes, and more. If you want a full video on those interactions, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button if you've learned something today, and don't forget to subscribe for more straight to the point medication tips from a pharmacist who's got your back. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye pharmacist.